Hello, and welcome to today's math class. Today we have this amazing algebraic equation before us here. It's a very interesting one. We here we are to solve for nine roots to this challenge here because we are having the highest power of the um, a variable here is nine. So we also have to solve for at least nine root. But I'm going to show a swift method to get one of the major roots to this challenge, which is um, a real solution. Okay, though we can equally use um, other methods, we can use the graphical method, we can use the um, the lambda w function, but here it's an easy one uh, for uh, uh, us to get the one of the real solution to this. So we take our solution here. All right, now I've showed this trick in some of my videos here. Yeah. Now, what we want to do here is to eliminate this x as a power and also eliminate this 9 as a power at the same time. And how do we achieve that? We just have to multiply the two powers together. And when we multiply the two powers together, find the reciprocal of the result. And so we raise both powers to the answer we got from there. And so, yeah, let's put that the question first. So we will have here our three all raised to the power of x equal to our x all raised to the power of nine. And so x times nine will give us nine x. And we'll find the reciprocal of that. That will give us one all of our nine x, right? Good. So let's raise both powers to that one all of our nine x. And so this is going to give us our three to the power of x, yeah? They're all raised to the power of 1 all over 9x. Then equal to, we have our x on the right hand side, all raised to the power of 9, or other raised to our 1 all over 9x. Yeah. We apply a simple rule in indices, okay, which says that when you have your plastic key all raised to the power of your m n. This is equal to your key raised to the power of m or in bracket other raised to n. In other words, we can multiply the exponents here to give us this, right? Good. So if we open up this, this is an exponent, this is an exponent, this is an exponent, this is an exponent. And so what happened? If we multiply out, then it's going to give us something like this. This x will go with this x here. This 9 we go with this 9 here. Yeah. And so we are now left with our 3 all raised to the power of our um, 1 all over 9. Then equal to we have our x all raised to the power of 1 all over x. We are looking for our variable x, right? And so let's move into the left hand side of the equation. And so this is going to give us our x raised to 1 all over x. This is equal to our 3 raised to 1 all over 9. This is amazing, right? Good. So what we do here, or what we think of to do here is this. We have to express the right-hand side in this format. In other words, we are having x to the power of 1 all over x in cell. So we think of rewriting this to give us a number that will be raised to one all over that same number and so what we do here is this let's handle this right hand side of this equation so taking this our three okay all raised to one all over nine or in bracket what we have as the power here is just one and we know that one is the same thing as our two all over Two, which is same thing as our three all over three, which is same thing as our four all over four. Okay, da 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 da. Right, good. Because two all over two will give us one. Three all over three will give us one. Four all over four we equally give us our one. So what do we do, we now think of raising this part here. To either 2 all over 2 or 3 all over 3. Now, to get that is to, because we're actually looking for a number that when we multiply or raise to 
uh, a certain number here that will give us a number that we will multiply that same number by nine to give us that same number. So if we think critically, you discover that three all over three will work out here. And so let's raise everything to three all over a three. So this is going to give us here our three all raised to one all over nine or in bracket raised to three all over uh, three. So if we continue applying the power law of indices, we can use this to multiply this. Or we bring this inside, then bring this outside. So this is going to give us our three all raised to the power of our three, then all in bracket uh, raised to one all over nine times the existing three outside here. The law we just apply is this law of indices, right? Good. So let's continue here. Now with this, this is going to give us three to the power of three will give us three times three, which is nine times three, which is 27. So we have here 27, right? All in bracket raised to one all over nine times three will also give us 27. So remember the left-hand side of the expression, which is our x here. So we can draw this down. Let's draw this down and see what this gives us. So we have here x, x raised to the power of 1 all over x. So we can do a simple comparison here. Here we have on the left-hand side, x to the power of 1 all over x. And here we have 27 to the power of 1 all over 27. And so we can therefore see that our x, therefore, is equal to our 27. So this is one of the re-roots that actually satisfy this exponential challenge. Now, we can equally use the Lambert W function to uh, solve for this also. I've used that in solving uh, similar challenges of this kind in some of my video already. I will leave a link in the description to this video below where you can access some of those videos and uh, see how I apply the Lambert W function in solving them. So this brings us to the end of this class. Like I said earlier, on, we are looking for just one root um, as far as this video is concerned. And again, remember I said the question has at least nine roots, but here we just have to solve for only one. See you in our next class and thank you for being there. Until we see you in our next class, keep winning. Bye for now.